to a new channel where we are today checking out the new creature in Creature Scenario. Now you probably wonder why I'm a little bit late with this. Well, it took me a while to get this creature actually. So here's the thing. What you have to do to unlock this creature is you have to uh, take 200, you have to heal 250 bleed damage. But for some reason it felt as if though he was 300 because I, I was doing this for hours and I mean literally I, I just did not get it. And then I went to sleep, and then I woke up, and then, and then I tried again, and then literally on the first attempt, I got it. So yeah, it must have been 300. Now, what is this creature? It's a Zethinus. A Zethinus has the stats of 3,400 max health, 100 stamina, 20 speed, 180 damage, 70 appetite, and 7 bleed. And it's five mutations for some reason always. And with that, we also have one out of three night vision, and it's a tier four out of five. Now here's something that to think when it comes to this creature. It was changed to tier four in the last minute, as it does actually have the stats of a tier three. But um, that's just what you need to know. So it was they changed their mind last minute and changed it from a tier three to a tier four. So because of that, I mean, not the creature's fault, it's the developer's fault here, but b due to that, um, let's, let's become an elder real quick. Uh, because of that, I would still put the stats at a good 7 out of 10, because they're, they're pretty good for this creature. And, and then we come to the way it looks. It, it looks phenomenal. I like the blue. I, I, this is a creature that's defaultly blue this is a default color like it's not often you see this and just because of that I, I mean I like it blue is my favorite color as some of you may know so uh, this is a definite I mean I'd say a 9 out of 10 it looks really good the, the different shades of blue and as well as the black and so we're gonna go ahead and listen to some of it some some of it no, all of its uh, calls so let's begin with number one number one is not working why isn't it working one second guys okay let's try that again <laughs> I don't know what was going on okay that's interesting it's very long let's go for number two Okay, that was just a lot shorter. Let's hit number three. That's pretty good. That, that's very nice. And now uh, number four. Interesting, guys. Really, really interesting. Now, what I think hey, we need to do is we're going to check the animations. So let's go ahead and begin with sit. Okay, it's got the same sitting animation as most creatures, and same laying animation. So there's nothing new in that regard. Um, what else then? Well, this creature is really nice to just play with, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the nest. So it's got this omnivore nest, really nice looking omnivore nest, because it is an omnivore. I don't know if I made that clear. I think I did. But uh, it's really nice, and um, I just need to go ahead and drink some water real quick because m my creature is a bit thirsty. He's also hungry a little, but he he's fine. He can manage for a for a little bit. But um, what I'm trying to say here now is <laughs> this creature is is fun. Uh, it's a bit difficult to get, but otherwise it was kind of worth it. It is a good creature. I don't even think it has an ability, you know. Uh, it does, however, have an X. X doesn't really do anything. It's just cowers, and that's pretty much nothing. <laughs> and and it doesn't really have an aggro either. So that's nothing to show there. But um, it, it's a, it's a nice creature. It, it looks like a like a like some sort of dinosaur, but I don't know. It's not really a dinosaur. It's uh. He's quite fast, by the way. He's quite fast. If I could find something to take out, trust me, I would take it out immediately and show you the strength of this thing. 
but I'm not seeing anything to take out and therefore it's gonna be a little bit tricky but uh regardless I think this is great and I also think th that uh, the creature was worth getting even if it was a bit tricky what I like about this creature is its speed its, its stamina lasts quite a while and I have to say that's a good thing because you need stamina in this game stamina is so important and is good that it lasts as long as it does though it is a shame that it doesn't have an ability like a lot of creatures in this game don't have abilities and that that's really weird considering that ability is a feature in this game and it's like why why no ability either way it's okay and that's the main thing here it's nighttime guys how about that so what I think is this game is is, is good Sometimes they do some silly updates, but most times they do okay updates. And this one was one of those silly ones with a silly quest. Uh, because th the mission, again, as I said, was you need to do 250 heal from 250 or 300 bleed damage. And it, it just took so long, and it just, there was no way of knowing how close or far you were from the goal. And it was just confusing really <laughs> is what I'm trying to get to here in my conclusion it is it was a bit confusing but doable of course T just takes a, a little while and I recommend using a lure by the way Wh whomever is a um, is bleeding you I recommend they be a lure and you just be a tanky creature so creature with a lot of health that way they can hit you a couple of times to increase their bleed to like 30 and then you can just heal off that 30, heal up your health and then uh, rinse and repeat kind of thing. So that is what I recommend doing. But uh, this creature doesn't really do too much. So even if you don't have this creature, I mean, fair enough, you don't really need it. Trust me, it doesn't do that much difference to your experience in this game. So... I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too concerned over getting this creature, but um, if you want it, then go for it. It isn't too difficult to get, but uh, of course you do have to hatch it from a gacha, and it's the omnivore gacha that I recommend doing it from. Um, that's the only one I've seen it in, other than the random gacha, which is, don't even bother doing that one, because the chances on that thing is just no. <laughs> so I recommend doing that on the omnivore one of course and it shouldn't take too long though it took me a couple of tries but with all that said I don't think there is much more to justify with this creature and uh, let's uh, go ahead and deliver our final little review points for this creature and so as I said a 7 out of 10 on stats and 9 out of 10 for looks the, the, the middle ground for that would be an 8 out of 10, which is, I think, a good good score for this creature. And um, I hope you guys do enjoy that. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that you had fun. I know I did. And if you want to see some more videos on the... If you want to see more of these creatures videos where I just showcase creatures, do let me know. And the best way is hitting them thumbs up and of course subscribing is a great thing to do as well while you're down there hitting the like button so uh, with all that said thank you for watching I hope to see you in the next video and if that's the case then I'll see you then um, so I will just simply say goodbye but most importantly don't forget to subscribe and like and I'll see you in the next one until then goodbye